Hi, my name is Chris Bovee. I'm with Sealux Incorporated. Uh, this video is going to attempt to show you how to seal in between a standing seam metal roof and a round penetration. Uh, we've pre-cut some pieces to go ahead and show you how we would handle this particular detail. This first piece here is going to be installed from the standing seam to the round penetration itself. I went ahead and pre-laid this out on here and marked it with a sharpie just to show me where the outside edge of this particular piece would be. This will tell me uh, exactly where I need to put my adhesive so I can press it in place and have it a nice, a nice seal. We also pre-cut a piece to go around the perimeter of our penetration. Uh, this particular piece has some relief cuts in it and that will actually allow us to conform to that particular, this particular shape as well as go over the top of the standing seam. First thing I'm going to do is apply a liberal bead of adhesive around our marked out area. Now there's two different ways you can install this product, the shiny side up or the matte side up. Uh, depending on your application, you'll just want to play with it a little bit. Uh, what we found for ours is to install the shiny side up because it helps it conform to the detail just a little bit. We pre-bent a small piece of metal just to hold, just to use as a clip, hold it in place while it cures. I'm just going to go ahead and slide that right over this. And go ahead and press the extrusion into place. Okay, now that I have a satisfactory seal on that, I can move on to installing the piece which we have cut to go around the perimeter of our, uh, our penetration. Again here I've pre-marked with a sharpie where I need to apply the adhesive in order to install this piece of Emmer seal. I'm going to install the top piece first then I'll come back later with a bead to install the bottom. Again apply a liberal bead of adhesive as the adhesive will help you hold the inner seal in place as, it, as the adhesive cures. Now I take my, my long relief cut and I'm going to lay that right down the middle of our standing seam. And then I can follow the line along and press it into place. Now that I have the top portion installed, I'm going to go ahead and if it's, if it's here are ends. Might be a little bit difficult to see on the video. have our top sealed, we're going to go ahead and start sealing the bottom portion. Now, as you can see, we're going to have to lift up here just a little bit in order to get adhesive up in here. So we're going to fill our void with adhesive. We're going to seal right down the outer edge. And continue a continuous, have a continuous bead go along our outer edge of these flaps which we've uh, created. As long as you have a continuous bead, you'll have a leak-free leak seal. Now 
Okay, now you can see we have a nice continuous bead all the way around the perimeter of our tabs. You need to go ahead and press these tabs into place, like so. Now in order to seal in between our tabs, we went ahead and prefabricated some small pieces like such. Um, you might have to do a little playing around with it to get just the right size for your partic particular application. But these seem to work pretty well for us, for, for ours. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put a bead right on my prefabricated piece ahead of time. A nice continuous bead around the perimeter of that, this little piece. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to install it over top of our gap. Use the same process to go around the whole perimeter of our penetration. Now once this is pressed into place, we have a leak-free seal. Okay, now that we have all of our tabs installed, in order to clean it up if you would like, it's not necessary, but if you would like, you can use some simple tools, such as a spatula and your finger, or a waterproofing uh, tool in order to actually tool the sealant around the edge if you like. It's your favorite towel. We have our pieces nice pressed in place. We can come along here and remove the excess if you'd like. And come back with our tool or your finger and have a nice tool badge.